Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a special bonus Worlds of ZZT livestream today where we're just going to make something. Uh, Will is right at this very moment hosting a BKZZT with the BK standing of course for Blitzkrieg. Uh, traditionally this is a long running sort of pseudo competition the ZZT community used to have over like IRC back in the day to make a ZZT game given a random topic and do so in usually like one hour, sometimes as little as half, where no longer 14 year olds to enjoy that so much these days. So we are extending our time to 2.4 hours in homage to another old ZZT contest, the 24 hours of ZZT. This is kind of impromptu, and I haven't really streamed making a game with ZZT in this sense. I don't know how talkative I will be. Uh, I do want to encourage anybody who is here and shows up, by all means, though, ask questions, ask about ZZT. That's the thing that I do these days. We are over at the Museum of ZZT and currently on the Discord of ZZT. Yeah, the, the scheduling back in the day was always rough. But I'm hoping we'll have some fun here and get to see what this process is like for people. And it'll be recorded, which I don't think has ever really happened with a BK before. Uh, the official topic is supposed to be dropping in like two-ish minutes, depending on how accurate Will's clock is. And then I'm just going to get right to it. Um... Normally, I do these streams without any background audio, because the ZZT games sometimes have background audio. And generally speaking, the ZZT games that I play on stream are often the only video existence of said games. So I don't want to put music that ends up covering up actual ZZT music when it appears. But I'm just going to toss on some random, like, overclocked remix album from forever ago. Because I ain't doing this in 2.4 hours of complete silence. That's probably all there is to it, until this actually starts. As you can see here in ZZT's official editor, which we will, I will not be using, and I don't think anybody else participating in this BK is using, the ZZT editor is a tool for creating silly ZZT game worlds, and that's probably what we're going to be doing today. Uh, about the only other weird thing here is because I need my numeric keys a lot more when I'm actively editing a ZZT game, that's usually my scene switch button, which now I have temporarily made me require holding control. So if I forget to switch scenes, please yell at me. But generally speaking, we're going to be in KevEdit doing our editing directly and CZT will be for our actually playtesting. I think that's about it. See how this sounds audio wise. How it looks on the feed. We'll get some music going. Uh, I have not really touched Z Edit, Z Edit 2. I keep intending to, but I've done a bad job this year of actually like making stuff with CZT. I particularly want to just so I can like do a guide or something on it because newcomers seem to really like it. That down. This this audio okay? It's probably gonna get a little louder in the background as the song kicks in a bit. Okay, let's see here. Uh, also, the unlikely event anybody here plans on participating in this at a later time because we're kind of just doing this far more chill than we did back in the day. Keep your keep the taka to yourself, but uh, apparently we're doing something a little different with that as well. To derive your topic, please read the following instructions carefully. I am looking at Discord. Visit thisworddoesnotexist.com. Mm -hmm. Click new word until you have an eight letter word or shorter. Well, I got one already. Okay, and paste it in the topic. A 
Hey, my ZZT world, that world. And base my game on the definition of that word. Time is already starting. Let me actually do this thing real quick, which is actually going to cut out my audio because my... Oh, no, it's not. Got... Uh, yeah, you can see how long I've had this open. Let me refresh this hastily written browser timer. Okay, that should be about right. And... Got a hole. Let's move over to Kev Edit, hopefully. Yeah, this is actually a fun way to do it. I like this. This also, we intend on keeping this sort of open so other people who can't make it right now at the designated time can do this later when they have free time. And I guess doing the topic this way makes it easy. Uh, we are starting from a completely blank state. I am in a fresh world in the DZT editor, Kev Edit. What's that? I already forget my word. It begins with an H. H-A-H-O-L. Ha hole. Now, what is the definition of ha hole? Let's put it here for reference in a scroll. Ha hole. One. Small, spherical, or rounded stones or pieces of ice. An ointment resembling ha hole. I gotta say, my word sounds a little dirty. Oh, okay. The second definition is a word that doesn't exist. I see. This site is new to me. Well, all things considered, reasonable topic for ZZT at least. I've got circles. I can do ice. I've got good colors for that. We are limited to a 16 color palette here. Uh, ZZT by default will actually make these bright colored backgrounds blink instead. These days it's very easy to use a modern emulator to shut that off, but I'm just a sucker for the classics. I'm still living in 2003 when it comes to ZZT, so I'm just going to be concentrating on this left half. So we said stuff in ice. Spherical or rounded or pieces of ice. It's not in ice. Okay, so it's small bits of ice. So it's just a horrible... That's really convenient, actually, because... um. That's what bullets look like in ZZT. Small, spherical things. We are going to be some ice dudes today, I am certain. Let's see here. Uh, graphics are by far my weakest ability in ZZT. Also, I have a very strict time limit, and I shouldn't be dilly-dallying whatsoever, even with two plus hours. Let's do... let's get some icy colors here. Let's write some those high quality letters everybody loves so much. Give me an H. I kind of like the outline look. I'm going to keep the outline for now instead of filling that in. I'm also a sucker for keeping these things like somewhat regular. one. You can go up one also. So our little pattern bar in the corner there. Oh, well, I do have it as split columns for you. That's one sidebar for me, that middle column you see on the stream. That's got our commands, and the thing on the right there is our pattern buffer. The left half is static, the right half is whatever we want, and Kevin it lets you adjust the size of it and unlock it and auto-append and all this stuff. But like I said, I'm stuck in 2003. So uh, the first thing I do in KevEdit is I make it like another ZZT editor of the era that never got ported away from DOS. So can't use it these days very well, at least. H-O-L. Well, I got some easy letters too, very friendly. Uh, KevEdit builds on ZZT's default editor, adds quite a bit of stuff. Copy and paste, probably the most useful, but it has syntax highlighting, uh, a full set of colors. ZZT limits you to just seven. Not great.
Copy and paste is, oh my god, it is so essential. It's, it's incredible how long people put up with not having it. That's why you see so many games where like the letters are slightly askew and things, and it's like, oh no, I ran out of room, I have to make my L really small now. Well, let me just do this. Look at that. Now that's a ha hole. I'm gonna immediately ruin it. I'm gonna Try filling some of these in. Mm. Let's leave that blank for now. Now, a smart artist would draw their background first and then things on top of it, but I am not a smart artist. This is going to be an icy game, so I'm going to get a lot of blues, cyans, and whites and grays, I suspect. Let's, uh, let's do like a frozen lake or something here. This will be the coastline. Water will go back to around here. Let's, uh, when in doubt, ZZT Sunset. That is my motto. I don't know what this game is about. Other than hot holes. Let's just blur you in. I do apologize if my keyboard is noisy. I like this keyboard, but I hate it for streaming purposes. Every unless I am very gentle with the keys, you get to hear every press. Let's move you here. You can fade to dark. Hmm, just straight up transparent letters, maybe. Let me fill this out a bit more. Let me slap my name on this also. Fun fact, the space in my name is incredibly convenient. Because that's where I can hide the player. a bit too much with the letters. There we go. That looks like an icy lake a bit. Do I want to fill these in? Because now I feel like having this be black is not a good look. Oh yeah, I got some gaps too. I guess that technically counts as a gap. Let's see, something a little frosty. I don't mind just doing that, honestly. I got filling that O also. Now what, though? What the heck is Ha Hole about? Small spherical, rounded stones, or pieces of ice. I, I really lucked out with the ZZT bullet thing there. Like, I just have to make a ZZT game, basically. I say, you're shooting Ha Holes, and it counts. It's on theme. 
Let's do... Where's the start? Let's make this wild, actually. Everybody loves a good intro. First and foremost, what's a good... I, mean, I gotta use fake walls, so I'm very limited. They have to use this character. Apologies if I just blinded everybody. Uh, do... Dark Cyan. I think that's a little, a little easier on the eyes. Alright. Anybody ever play the Unreal World? Like a... Iron Age Finland's roguelike survival game? It's a fun one. I'm terrible at that, but... That's what... I know one of the scenarios there has you just start during, like, a bad hunting trip where, like, your dad just got attacked by a bear and died, and now you have to just live. And I think I'm gonna do something... Not that, specifically, but... Spray. Let's get this. This is blood. This is how ZZT works. If it's a red fake, it's probably blood. That's too much blood. There we go. That's a reasonable quantity of blood. Trees. Three, four. So how angled do we want to make this? Uh, honestly, I'm fine. That's a bit big. Let's narrow that. Uh, shorten that. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to like be smart. Just actually look up the key instead of doing it wrong. Now there's a way to flood select. It might be capital X. Like now that I have people watching, I have to like do this right. So X flood select. Capital X. I haven't played it in a long time. It's one I always want to go back to and actually like learn properly because I think it's a fantastic game. Look at this. We are 13 minutes. Oh my god, what? Like, again, no joke. People would do these with 30 minute time limits. In which case, doing anything on the title screen is a bad idea. And I already broke the first rule. I've done enough of these to know that when you spend time on the title screen in a VK, you shouldn't. I'm focusing way too much on graphics here because I don't have an idea for what this game is actually about yet. Which is why there's now going to be snow in these trees also. Fingers crossed. Eh. No, there's not going to be. I'm not super fig on how that looks, and it's not worth the time. Let's get gameplay here. What we got? I mean, I hope this is a striking start. I'm very tempted to put a ZZT bear here, though. But I kind of like the idea of it being ambiguous. So let's, uh... Let's... Yes, this is Cave. This is specifically Cave Story Remix Project, which is like, God, uh, God knows how old at this point. I'm sure well over a decade. But I was, I was just like, what music do I have that I can confidently say I can put on a Twitch stream and YouTube recording and not get in trouble? 
and the good people of Overclock Remix deliver. So, I'll just hide an object here. If I wanted to, I could really fully blend it in and just make it look like the fake walls. But I don't want to. Our cycle is basically the object speed. Three is the default, one is the fastest. I'm gonna just leave this at three. I'm gonna do some idles so the player gets to sit here for a moment. Here's what we're really gonna do. Take this tile. I'm gonna change it from a fake wall to a normal wall. No, let's see what this. Make these fakes. Let's make this and operate with normal. Okay, so now it looks identical. I believe we should be able to. So that should let us basically keep the player trapped in the blood for a moment. Alright, let's see if I know how to write. That's the, the true scary part. Live writing. Let's see. You awaken. The fields. Soaked in your blood. Everybody loves a good mystery. What happens? Don't know how long. Conscious. Making stuff up. So this will just pop up text if we write it, and the idols will break the message boxes, so we'll get one at a time here. Hello. Uh, we're dying. We're bleeding out in the snow. Blood points. It's hot hole. I'm assuming you looked at the Discord and saw how this topic is working. We'll censor our text. I mean, that could be the story. That's why you gotta keep these things ambiguous. You write your own character here. Thanks, well. Okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna guide our player a bit here. It's, what was it? Just X? No, capital. X? Well, if I eat a tree, I've got others at this point. Okay, no, just plain X works. X is ZZT's default editor flood fill, so like, in my brain, I still always feel like that's what's gonna happen here. So we're gonna add a bit of density to these trees. Yeah, 
And this way, we will lock the player on a narrower path without having to change our fake walls. Uh, this, these not spectacular trees would look better with like snow or some variety instead of this copy paste thing, but I hate they're all connecting. I forget what that's called. Where you get where you get tangent lines in comics. I know that's that term. Good call, actually. You should be nearly dead. Let's... I'll go up like one more spot. If anybody asks, there's a tall tree. Okay, so there we go. We're bloody, miserable, and everybody's gonna. I don't want to do 10 though, because here's the other thing with BKZZTs. The more you can lean on built ins instead of coding stuff, that's also the better. So we're going to do some straightforward action. Let's do this. I can't get. Yeah, okay. Tell to jump to a label afterwards. Well, I don't need to tell to jump. I can just put that here. Bring the lines. Oh. We'll prevent the player. We'll give them a message if they try going this way. Uh, ZZT spells aligned incorrectly. I do need two L's here. That's correct. We'll just have it infinitely loop. And if you do happen to line up with this thing, Nothing good can be that way. Idle a bit, and start looping again. Actually, at this point though, we do want it to be cycle one so it runs as fast as possible. Oh no. Okay. On to board two. What's board two? Well, the, the thing with the extra L in a lines is I played ZZT when I was 10. So ZZT introduced me to the word. So it's a lot easier for me to spell it with two L's than with one. It looks weird with one L to me. I'm just, it's all Tim Sweeney's fault. I'm not even going to name this board. I'm going to figure it out as we go. A ZZT makes you line everything up. It's that Tim, all right. That's the guy. This is what he was doing in 1991. He was teaching children words. Let's try... Made this out of well, whatever. Let's make this not face. Let's just do this until we get a lay of the land here. I already regret making this like opening mouth so wide because now I gotta do like an awkward sharp turn. So there we go. Part of me wants. I'm always a fan of things in ZZT, like, looping in on themselves. Some shaky footage here. Okay, so we got some borders. Let's, uh, you're a pretty isolated tree. 
apologies to fans of making ZZT atlases. I am not connecting the tops of these trees onto the bottom of the board here. I ain't got time. Oh, that actually fits. That's good. These are still fakes. Let's... Let's get that in normal again, though. Normal walls. That in the buffer. Fill this out. Doesn't super matter. I just have a feeling I'm going to be copy and pasting background trees. I just just eyeball everything. See, I kind of want to keep the path looking odd. I don't want to change it here. That's okay. This can be a weird game. Ah, okay. I got an idea, actually. Oh, that I actually do like. I could just use text. I could just make the trees look like this, huh? Oh, I can see just the latency in my Twitch stream preview versus my OBS capture. That's fun. I do have a, a timer set, I think, for like the two hour mark. You know what? That's another thing with BKs. Nobody cares. I can just keep changing this every board. Like, if I wanted to go back and polish this later and make it look nice, I can do that. Now is not the time. Because there's bears! Of average sensitivity. So bears in ZZT are not really the greatest enemy. Uh, if you're close to them, they'll just start walking towards you. But we don't have any ammo right now. So they're going to be a bit more threatening. Let's actually see what this looks like. Let me put them back here. I uh, I don't need to connect this to the intro, but let's... Actually, let's just go straight from the start. Make sure everything's working right. Leave ZZT's editor here. Here's our title screen. Go. That's our designated ZZT fake wall message. Been unconscious. Need shelter. We hope. Alright, and sure enough, my normal walls turned into fakes, and we can wander around. Nothing good. We go. I didn't connect the board. I made the board, I didn't connect the board. So you can't see this, but I'm connecting the board now. The so regular ZZT does not have this cheap, but thankfully I do. I can just change boards. There we go. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's actually probably too much, if anything. Too many bears. Player is probably going to assume... Oop, that they were attacked by a bear. And I want to do something with this. 
before the player can go this way. But okay, so far, the code works. Our board is now connected. Let's we'll call this Path 1, everybody's favorite board name. And what I would like to do... Uh, I can't use breakables here, though, actually, because bears can break breakables. So you get to look a little... I could turn those into objects also, but I don't want to do that either. What I specifically want to do is indicate to the player that you can touch this tree. And I think just putting a little mark should be sufficient for that. That's the bird clock. It's five o'clock slightly after. Like I said, I want to stick to pretty straightforward ZZT things here. The problem is nature <clears throat> doesn't have much in the way of good fitting obstacles here. Like, I can put a locked door or whatever, but it's question of how how gamey are we going versus any kind of realism here. <laughs> what if I do something like this? effect here. Which is probably not. Not what I want to do, at least. Yeah, I... I gotta say, ZZT game design under a 2.4 hour, 2 hour time limit is not what you would want to do normally. But the tools for ZZT make like I just drew a path, and now I have a path. This As soon as I started this empty world, I had movement and shooting and collision detection. That's all done. And so, if I just get some... Like, my goal right now is get the player somewhere good. Maybe the lake on the title screen. Maybe a warm cave. Maybe a village. I don't know. But what I do know... Here's what I'm going to do. Now put some transporters here. So that'll be a one-way exit from here back towards the starting area. And I'm going to make the player fight the bears. Name is object tree. And when you touch the tree... The tree. Do a little hyperlink here, so this will be presented as a choice for the player. Always keep them guessing. And this, the first part of our hyperlink is what label to jump to when it's selected, so this will take us here. Now lock the object so you can't do anything else. We're going to say snow, tell the snow objects to fall. Shake the tree. Snow falls off. That's like the maximum one line message. If it's two lines it comes up in a pop up like we did in the intro sequence. If it's one, it just flashes on the bottom. I 
actually want to do is get some fake walls here so I can put the objects on top. No, I don't want to do that. You got it. Okay, I know what I need to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to use black on dark green. Water. Oh, speaking of water, hang on. So well, invert the colors there with the water, so it'll look pretty much identical to the normal walls we've been using. If you put them next to each other, you can kind of see the seam. Yeah. Some snow objects. ZZT limits your color, so I can't actually get dark green. I can't just turn this into the the color I want. Does this actually match forest? This is ZZT forest. Yeah. I'm gonna just let it fly. Style so turns that. Do the same for these two, but the others. I'll do a little differently. Maybe fast. Move south. Put some forest in the north. Change characters. This guy. App touch. Okay. So normally, if you touch this, don't do anything. Once we zap touch, ZZT changes it into a comments, which is wild, but. That in turn means that this touch will activate when the player touches the object, which now looks like a ZZT bullet, or a ha hole, if you will. Give ammo one. Uh, I do need to give a lot more ammo though if I'm having this many bears. Let's... How many do we get out of this if I do this one too? Only five. I'm gonna reduce. Ease up on the bears. I should get more than 5 am. Oh, that's not a lot. I just like them actually looking like bullets, but maybe I should do... That'll tell every object that has a ha-hole label to go to it. And then when you touch it, it gives you some ammo and it disappears. We're going to change this to 3 a pop for a big one. Change you to the other character. Mm -mm -mm. Do this. I've done enough CZT to know that 248 is the degree sign. Don't need to pick from the list. These ones go away. What's that first one? Seven for three ammo. Seven, three ammo. 
do is once again, chuck something in the corner. Now, even though all those objects will try to send it to this label, we're just going to zap it immediately, so this will only fire once. So the first time we pick up a hot hole, as it were. Perfectly smooth ha holes. Let's see how consistent I can be about how I pluralize that. So I think my gameplay mechanic is going to be as easy as he lets you limit the number of shots the player has on the board. So I think we'll just make a game with that shot limit set really low. That's ambiguous though. That makes it sound like you can't them all up. Make the player fight the bears, and the bears will go away. Screw it. We're 44 minutes in. Put a plain old ZZ key door. Locking. You see, you can't touch it again. That way, we can sell the tree. Start checking. Ah, I know. Once you pick up the ammo, it'll start checking. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Let's try this board out. Fresh load. So now this is definitely easier. That's okay. Hugged, tree shaken. Okay. I like this. I just want these to move south slightly more. Also, ZZT does not like demands that your water be water. Okay, there we go. We're learning about the hot holes. Got nine ammo, four bears, and bears since they just move like this are pretty easy shot. There we go. Their key, open our door, and we'd be able to proceed to the next board if one existed. see, what next then? What next? If I have time, I would like to actually add this to some of the outer trees. That's okay. Let's, uh... Let's not worry about your injuries. Let's go to the east. So now it's all about finding some gameplay mechanics. Have it will let us connect our boards, even though we don't really have any reason to backtrack right now. Four tiles tall, starting with this one. Mark that one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's our entrance. Curves, background, let's try, I have a little hut or something here and a fire going. Actually, that's not half bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe it shouldn't be lit. Let's make this player suffer a bit longer. I know this is going to look bad with the double lines, but... Yeah, I ain't a fan. Something a bit more... a bit more brick-looking ice here. We'll do a little igloo of sorts. That, we're going to have to break out the big guns. Oh. 
like the tightly packed look. Why don't we just want a single? I don't like that either. No, no, no. I don't want to spend too much time on art here. I am not great at it. Let's take the easy out. Thing is, I don't know if I want to do like a survival game per se. Let's decorate this a little more, see if I can come up with something I like. Seating.
Oh no. <laughs> I, I apologize. I don't know how long that's been off, but I have been dogging the entire time, as as is often the case. It's tradition. I apologize. I hope you liked my stolen Calvin and Hobbes joke. That's all I got, honestly. the player in place. We're gonna make that up. Regular wall. How many tiles is this? Oh, that fits. I can just do something stupid. It'll all be invisible. for gamers. Well, it turns out I do want this once again. I don't... This is always my problem when I do these contest entries with these time limits. I don't know how to prepare. I just go and hope something happens that's good. But, if this was a, a traditional BK with like an hour-long time limit, this would work, actually, quite well, I, because then this could be the ending. But as it currently is, mm, not so much. Chapter 2. I don't... I just want, like, a clean break. <sighs> okay, let me... Let me take a minute. I'm gonna stand up and stretch and such. I will return momentarily.
I'm here, I'm here. The stretch was needed, but I still got no ideas. In the case, the title screen is the best part. What was that? Other definition? It could just be stones in general, it doesn't have to be ice. <clears throat> Apparently, an ointment. Ideas, actually. I'm sorry, this kind of stinks. The best part is these trees. Let's grab this tree. surreal. There are far better trees than this, trust me. Tactics here. 
Also, I'm, I'm on an old version of KevEdit. This is actually bugged. It's the opposite of what this says. This is a spinning gun with some bullets. Can you make it across this tree? I don't know. Something. Under the player. And then we'll do our little water trick for the rest. Something to do, at least. See, our trees are getting jankier by the minute. for me as much as anyone else. Actual timer. 34 minutes? Oh, good lord. Well, that's when I said. I think I said it for just the two hours. I forget how long this actually is. That's the problem with 2.4 hours. It's like. 2 hours and 20. It's on my screen. It's just very tiny on my screen, actually. That's not helpful. 2 hours, 24 minutes. Visibles. Again, like I was saying at the start, CZT will make this blinking, and it will make it blinking black on black. So this is effectively a visible wall in the editor that's invisible outside of it. spinning guns super often. We also haven't tested in a while. I just want to start right here. I just want to see what these spinning guns look like. Well, that one shoots left, so that kind of spoils it. I shouldn't make it completely invisible, because that's kind of mean, and there's a low but possible chance that the player has, like, that the player will die instantly if they step here. If they get shot once. Let's just make it apparent. 
Gotta find them all. Thank you. Run across here. Because now I've moved into, like, Dream World. I can do whatever the hell I want now. That's a game design pro tip. It don't matter if it's a dream. trees we could do this. That's just a bit more of a pain to select now. And I seem to have missed one. That's okay. This gives us something. But now we're turning the bullets into Symbols of sorts, I guess. Oh, well, I guess this still counts as a chapter two. to make you not objects, but whatever, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna end game, which will instantly set the player's health to zero, and we'll reset it to 30. Now I don't have to worry about their previous health. This is chapter two. This is how we do it. Now we have gameplay, which is really what I wanted, because I don't have a story.
same thing, some visible water, because I want bullets to go through it. the official 6 p.m. bird clock of, of a normal stream. Actually, you know what? Do all that work with the water. Then I'm just going to give us a background of some sky. about the geometry. Just like before. that this one can shoot left, but I don't I want it to be seen as, like, snow and ice. Just gotta get surreal with it, is all. This ain't good, that's my complaint. <laughs> but I do this every time. What you need for these super short time limit time limited contests is you need a story because you can you can write faster than you can balance. You need spaces with people, and I'm like, no, you're alone and dying. This is what you want. It's not what you want. It's not what anybody wants. But it's something. I liked how that fire looks, dang it. 
I refuse to not have it. Dang it. I was doing so good. It, it, it didn't happen until you showed up, I swear. I have been jinxed. Mm. I don't even know if I'm going to do anything with those. We'll do something with this. Oh, yeah, you don't need to code these two. normals to yellow normals. Singular. And then we can change our yellow fake into a red normal. I should invert. I promise I'll remember, to, I'll remember to switch the scene this time. Actually, yuck. That looked better static. That's okay. Now it's static again. was weird. I don't know why that happens. Big blue turned slush. board. I don't know. Object named Counter. Let's put you right 
here. Touch the aha holes as they were. And we got five. One, two, three, four, five. First four, do nothing. Last one. Hear a voice. Normally I would like to do something to make it more clear that this is where a tiny opening has appeared, but I'm just gonna make a really standing out passage so it's pretty immediately obvious that's where you're gonna be going shortly. Opening a browser tab for a quick reference. Bizarre color combination. That doesn't sound like it would be a good skin tone, but it is. Luckily, I remember the game that like it makes it apparent that that's the one. Open that up real fast here. Keys as I cycle through a different ZZT game. Oh, maybe I, maybe I am remembering wrong. Whatever. Somebody said we had to be realistic. Let's just start with the basics. Uh, give me a background. So I can see something with that. You know what? If I keep it very rectangular, it's almost like a ZZT smiley face. So why not? That doesn't read his mouth.
big ol' eyes. That's just a minion, actually, when I get rid of that, which was not my intent to get rid of that entirely. I was just going to redraw it, but what I have right here is a minion. Maybe we do need a skin tone. <laughs> man am I drawing. I think that's about what I'm going for. Close enough. Let's tuck the player in the corner. You know I can't see it as like not a minion or Spongebob or something. So I do have to just put a tiny body on this giant head because I won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Is not Mario. about that is Mario. Slender boy, but that's okay. Like I said, I don't do ZZT art. I especially don't on camera for an audience. Messed up head, buddy. Why is that? Because I'm on the color green. Close 
exploit on Brown. That's a human hand. No, it's not. No, I'm nuking that one. That's all I got, people. We're doubling down on this stolen joke. What? You know what? What was that game called? That Super ZZT game. It had Ms. Hi-Ho. That's why I keep thinking that my word is Hi-Ho and not Ha-Hole. Yeah, I mean, now we got time to go back and polish. for the two hour mark my practice timer that was supposed to let me know when I wasn't time wasn't up the timer I have set has four minutes left that's obviously wrong you got like 20 that's probably still a lot of time for where I just cut this off in horrible horrible desperation I shouldn't need that anymore but just in case Gonna start doing some cleanup here. How do I make this mess anything? Yeah, yeah. Spooky intro. Uh, I will just hide all these objects. I was doing that for the viewers. We got ourselves a mess of a game. We also need to, like, you know, make sure it works. I haven't tested half these boards, let alone done a playthrough start to finish. Fix our colors a bit. Mm. Can't do anything about the passages in the corner. This needs a background of some sort. There's not much room. I can do a more elaborate frame. I was gonna do it first. I don't want to do line walls though, because I'm doing that in the corner, and those will connect. I mean, I could work around that, but. Pictures with teeth. Oh. Sc 
screwed it up. Well, somehow that's sometimes that's just how things align. this down one. What am I thinking? Something. Still not good. Now let's do let's do some circles. Well here we'll we'll see a, a fun feature of KevEdit. We're gonna have some O's. I don't want zero. I want degree signs. I'll take That one, yeah. So we'll fill our buffer with these, shrink it to that size, and now I will just do Shift F, and it will flood fill randomly with the buffer. So let's hope we get something good, because this will be a pain to erase. I'll just have to load the file, actually. It's visually there. I'll take it. That's our motif. Looking good. Kind of, actually. I gotta... We add these. It's that part. This bar, yes, yes, time up. It's not. We got plenty of time. You can do a whole nother BK. I'm very curious, because I didn't tune into anybody else's stream. I have no idea what this is going to look like compared to anything else that got produced. Apologies if mine is the bad one and people decided to watch this, because other people are streaming this exact same competition right now. That's promising. Thank you, Snorp. I'm, I'm reassured. <laughs> I'm not the only one who's like wallowing in self-pity over here. This is terrible too, this background. It's way too bright. What can I do for this? There's not much even on this board. I can just do anything, honestly. Let's try... Oh, actually, there was. My title screen is already the best part, but one thing I thought might be neat. So let's get some icicles. Honestly, that looks worse. <laughs> I would like to incorporate an icicle or two. The title screen is not the spot. Well, the background is my particular worry. This I don't mind being on kind of a dark void, because you're kind of dead. Same with this weirdness. Let's, uh... 
actually, let me fix the objects. These ones. So, do some kind of fading from here. Yeah, this, like, I don't need objects for that, for these things, if they're not interactable. Something to break up the monotony. I'll question my lighting. That's Bill Watterson. Guess I want to change that igloo path. Add some snow. I would like them to not all be identical, so let's try. We've got time. That's why I avoided going back to this. Very good on stats. Boy, I don't want to do this for all of them though. I think I'm gonna find a few isolated ones and then just copy paste like three of them. Boy, everybody's gonna play this first one and think, wow, DOS made a really cool game. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they're in for a shock. I think it's. I think CCT is actually, like, very suited towards this. I'm honestly kicking myself that I didn't think of doing this. I've streamed, like, more than a year ago now. I actually did like a tutorial series where I slowly built out like a much more developed game than this mess, where like each episode was at least an hour and there were like 10 episodes. It was just walking through like how to use the editor and how to use objects and just programming stuff with them. Where's my other tree? What tree is this? Okay, so I need you. Just ZZT is still like the most rapid thing I know for game dev. Limited as it may be. I, the first time I did one of those like 
I still don't know if you if you how you pronounce it. Ludum dares. I heard somebody call it Ludum dare once. It's one or the other. It's probably neither. But I, I did one of those once, and I started making a ZZT game, and I got as I always do. I got discouraged that I wasn't like making any progress. It felt. And then I was just looking at somebody else who was also in it, like, in their choice. And they're like, okay, I'm, like, a day and a half in, and I've got collisions working, but the player can no longer move left for some reason. Okay, so it is the Ludum Dare. It's something. Some bears. Oh, man. See? Too many trees. Okay, so I got less than 20 minutes. That's fine. Style. Uh, do I have any more trees I need to fix? I copied and pasted the, the original tree. You are the one I like. Give a game. Yeah. That's that's the dream. That's okay. These trees can all be pretty much identical. This board, let's just hide you. Do the same trick. Okay. If we are lucky, we can play this start to finish. Will we be lucky? Fingers crossed. I picked the wrong color on the title screen for that object. That's okay. We're here. Our game is very intense. That's also kind of ambiguous. Our blood is pointing south. And change that dialogue. Also, I'm realizing now that some of these trees have normals and some of them have breakables. Which, again, isn't going to matter because they're all in the decoration. Hug a tree for good luck. Ah, yes, yeah, right. On, let me fix this stuff, like, ASAP. First the dialogue. No, first the title screen. Then the dialogue. South commands. The 
typing is frantic, the game is a mess, but I think it's done. I'm, I'm currently beta testing here. Oh, okay. That's why I was having my weird scene change problems. When I bound it to control plus a numpad key, apparently it matters which control I use, which I was not expecting. I forgot it on one, but I think that's okay. That one's towards the back. Mm. Mm. I know the secret of this game. I don't really need to aim well. Yeah, my goal was kind of, hopefully, a two-hour mark being a, a decent mark. Okay, sure enough, can't touch that again. Get our weird key. Good. mess of a board. Find a picture. Move in any direction. Wow, I framed that with the ZZT scroll in my picture here very well, actually. That was unintentional. put me on this passage, which I wasn't expecting. So let me pause. Let me fix that. Let's just use white passages. Those will actually blend in, honestly. Oh, but I used a white passage here. Okay. I hate ZZT's passages. There we go, Sam. Then you can be white. Regular white passage colors. Not, not yellow. Okay. Go up here. This color can be. And go back to Cyan. I think we'll just alternate between those two. Here to white. Don't want to... Okay, I think we should be good on that. We're getting getting desperate now. I'm turning up the game speed. Clearing this stuff out, cheating for health. I am just going to tank these bears because I know this part works. Normally you won't be able to kill them all like this because you die yourself. But this part being weird doesn't matter. Oh. Well that's something. I think that only happened because I cheated with the bears. That's an easy fix, though. I'll get to that. I can fix that. That's just looking good. Uh -huh. I didn't update that passage. Let's see. 
you here. Sufficient. Green or steel goes to rim shot. Rim shot goes to igloo two. Let's do chapter two. We should be back on track. I really would like to do a full playthrough. <laughs> Get a key if I went that way. In here. Dear, dear. Picture. Move. Read. Turn around. I left that message. Okay, so you just gotta get rid of that second copy of the message. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, I hope this works, just, okay. I was so worried about that. Perfect, looking everywhere. Ah, I missed the last passage. Bad joke continued. Ah, uh, shoot, there was one other thing. What was it? Oh, the... Eagle 2 had... What? Oh, you're all the way up here, that's why. Okay, perfect, great, good. Ship it! I'm calling it done. Tabbing over to the Discord now. Submitted this to the Discord. <laughs> My timer says I got about two minutes. Or no, it's 224. That's okay. I'm gonna slow down for a moment. Ugh. That's. That's ZZT. Also, I'm a little tired of this case story music, if that's okay. All right, well, it, it is done, I guess. We've, we found the ha hole. Hmm. Boy, there's a lot of nice art in the Discord. But also a lot of, oh no, I spent too much time on the art. How many people signed up? One, everybody had to post their word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven? Did we really get eleven people? That's a lot. But, um, I think that's about it. There's nothing else I can really do or say here, short of actually, like, playing these on stream, but I need a stream break. It's been two hours, 19 minutes, and 55 seconds.
Okay, I just I see a three minute warning from a minute ago. I think we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna cut off the stream. Oh, I'm not gonna cut it off. I'm gonna end it politely. So, uh, thanks to everybody who stopped by. I appreciate the the encouragement at the the idea of doing these kind of contests and streaming them on Twitch. I think it is a cool idea. Two hours and 22 minutes, though. I think that, for me personally, at least, I think that, like, just straddles a line of, like, I felt like I was not doing as much with the time as I should have. Once I play these, I'm sure all will be revealed that it's not the case. But right now, I'm feeling like, yeah, this should have taken me a little over an hour. But also, that's a pretty buckwild estimate, honestly. But if you enjoyed this, I don't usually stream making ZCT games because I don't do that nearly as often as I should, but judging by the success of this from what I'm seeing on the Discord, I suspect there will be more of these in the future, and I hope that there are, and I hope more people keep streaming them. Uh, all these addresses here on screen are helpful for ZZT stuff if anybody was just browsing Twitch and came across this. Yeah, that could be fun too, just having like a chat guide it in some way. That could be pretty interesting, actually. But yeah, if you're interested at all in making ZZT games, got exciting news for you. This, these games all play fine in a web browser these days. Uh, there is, it's originally for MS-DOS. We've got quality dedicated ZZT emulators these days. We've got reconstructed source code, so there's actually some versions now that are just native to Windows and such, etc., etc. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, like we'd love to have you on the Discord. That link is not there. You can, there's just straight up a Discord link, like, on the top right of the museum website, but anybody who hops in there can get an invite link, where everybody now is currently panic posting their links to their games. All this stuff will end up being up compiled, I'm sure, and uploaded onto the museum as well. That's kind of the de facto place for ZCT games these days. Probably wasn't super informative for anybody who's like brand new to this, but well, that's that's what a two hour time limit does versus a 24 hour time limit. But I will be I will be back again actually tomorrow at noon Pacific. I do Sunday streams of unpreserved ZZT games that have been recovered and then get them uploaded onto the museum afterwards. And then I also do Fridays at 6 o'clock Pacific, so we'd normally still be going now if that was the case. In which I just run Twitter polls for themes and things and see what the people want to see played. But, uh, that should do it. Um, thank y'all for watching. I, I hope everybody enjoyed the seeing the development of Ha Hole. And I hope if I do this again and to see you again. I think that that'll that'll do it. All right. Later.